Welcome. This video gives a quick overview of Cranium's and Synapse's capabilities for adding new physical property estimation techniques. We will be using the Synapse Reader for this demonstration. The identical capabilities are also available in Cranium. If you do not have a copy of Synapse or Cranium, please visit our website where you can download reader versions of both products. We will be using the MKS Sample Knowledge Base. This knowledge base is included with all of our software products. Cranium and Synapse are both designed to quickly and easily provide estimates for the physical properties of both pure chemicals and mixtures. For example, change to the Chemicals chapter and navigate to the chemical 1-butanol. Click on the Navigation menu, select the Go To command, type in butanol in the Match Substring edit box and select 1-butanol. Press the OK button. Synapse displays the chemical's physical property data. From the Commands menu, select the Compute Estimates command, and Synapse will display the Property Estimation dialog. Press the Estimate button, and Synapse will estimate the values of more than 30 different physical properties. Press the Save button, to store these estimated values into the current knowledge base. Scroll to the Critical Temperatures field and click the left mouse button on the estimated value. Synapse displays the Estimation Details dialog, showing the estimated value and the technique that was used to generate the estimate. One of the most powerful features of Cranium and Synapse is that all estimation techniques can be viewed edited and extended by the user. You can even enter your own new estimation technique. Change to the Estimation Techniques chapter and look up Joback's method for the critical temperature. Click on the Navigation menu, select the Go To command, in the Match Substring edit box type Joback and select the Critical Temperature Estimation Technique. The Techniques page displays the property being estimated, the Accuracy and Applicability code, and the Estimation model. This is the actual code used to generate an estimate. The code can be viewed and edited by the user. Joback's method is a group contribution technique. The techniques groups and their contributions are also listed on this page. You can modify, add, or extend any of these values. To add a new estimation technique, we press the plus button found on the toolbar. Synapse will add a new blank page to the techniques chapter. Click the left mouse button on the identifier field located at the top of the window. Enter a name for our new estimation technique. Enter a reference and comments. It is often helpful to add a prefix indicating which property this technique estimates. Press the prefix button and select critical temperature. Press OK. Synapse will insert a prefix denoting the property being estimated. Finally, press the save button. Scroll up to the technique's property field. Click on the field and select the property being estimated. For us, this is the critical temperature. Now we enter the estimation techniques model. Scroll down to the estimation model field. Click the left mouse button on the estimations field. Synapse activates the estimation model dialog. Press the default args button to add some default code. Then declare some variables. We add a comment, we declare variables for the boiling point and the critical temperature, and an integer variable for storing errors. Our new technique models the critical temperature as a linear function of the boiling point. Thus, we first need to tell Synapse to retrieve the chemical's boiling point. 
For this, we use the function cprop. Scroll the function list down and select the cprop function. The dialog describes the function and provides a list of the arguments. In the code, we first enter a comment. and then use the cprop function. The first argument is the name of the chemical. The second argument is the name of the property. We click on the properties button and select boiling point. The third argument is the temperature. The fourth is the pressure. And the last argument is our variable for storing error results. We then add a check to see if an error has occurred. The cprop function will first look for data for a given chemical. If no data is available for the entered physical property, boiling point in this case, then Synapse will recursively estimate that property. We now enter our linear function. We enter a comment, and our function is that the critical temperature is equal to 60.7 plus 1.35 times the boiling point. We set this estimate as the result of our model's code, and then signal the successful estimation. Press the Save button. Synapse will compile the code that we've entered, check it for errors, and store it in the current knowledge base. Physical property estimation techniques are stored just like any other data value. We now have a new technique for estimating the critical temperature. To test our new technique, we change back to the Chemicals chapter. Scroll down to the Critical Temperatures field. We must now tell Synapse to use our estimation technique instead of automatically deciding which technique to use. Click the right mouse button on the Critical Temperature Estimate Control and choose the Select Technique command from the menu. Synapse activates the Estimation Technique dialog. Change the Estimation Mode to Manual Mode and select our new technique from the list of available techniques. Press OK. As before, click on the Commands menu and select the Compute Estimates command. Press the Estimate button and press Save. Synapse has used our new estimation technique to generate an estimate for the critical temperature. We click the left mouse button on the estimated value. We see that Synapse indeed used our new technique. The estimated value is in fairly good agreement with the data value. Although our new technique worked well for one butanol, the obvious question is, will it work as well for other chemicals? Change back to the techniques chapter. We see here our newly entered estimation technique. From the commands menu, choose the evaluate technique command. Synapse uses our new estimation technique to estimate the critical temperature for every chemical in the knowledge base. Synapse then displays these estimated values and calculates summary statistics. Our simple technique works fairly well. It has an average absolute error of approximately 4.43%. This is very good. One can also see from the various graphs that there are few outliers for our estimation technique. This brief video showed how to use Cranium's and Synapse's estimation technique management capabilities. Please visit our website for additional videos and additional information. As always, please contact us if you have any questions about Cranium or Synapse, or any questions about physical properties in general. Thank you.